What's up YouTube, my name is Eric Young and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make character animations just like these you see. It's going to be really simple. Yeah, let's just get started. You're going to be using Fuse, Adobe After Effects, Element 3D version 2.2. And we're also going to need Cinema 4D. So if we start over here in Fuse, we can make models as easily as The Sims or, say, Skyrim or any other video game. We'll start off by just making a simple little uh, cartoon dude. Alright, now we'll dress him up. Just go to clothing. Choose from any of these. You can also, after you're done with your character, open him in Photoshop and paint the clothes but you'll have to look up um, a Fuse tutorial on how to do that. There's many, so I'm not even going to bother. But we'll just go ahead and dress them up with the clothing you have here. You can also get more from the Adobe library. I just have what comes with Fuse. Well, that's ugly. And just like After Effects, if you don't like what you did, you can just Alt-Z. Ooh, we got jeggings. Nice, jeggings. So we got our cartoon dude in Athletic Wear. So we'll go ahead. Save him. And then we'll go to File and Animate with Maximo. Then we'll just take a minute and we'll export him. And this will actually auto-rig your character. The only problem with Fuse is you can only make what's inside of Fuse, and you can't import your own characters. If anyone can figure out a way, please let me know. I forgot to show you also in the assembly, you can just click body parts and make them bigger and smaller. But I'd have to take his clothes off to do any more of that. So if you want to get really in-depth with how your character looks, you can modify just about any piece of them. So everything looks good. Check him out. Looks like he's got some really big eyelashes. Alright, um, we'll just deal with it. Then we'll uh, put him in my assets and animate. It says running has been added to your assets. Go to my assets. Here it is, the athletic cartoon. And then we'll go to my animations. And here's the animation. So now we'll queue download. I usually like to just download it at 60 frames per second so I can shoot it down half speed, whatever speed you want to shoot it down to. And then you download and I have a folder on my desktop called fuse animation so now we'll go into cinema 40 and we're going to open that FBX that we saved earlier there it is running athlete.fbx And here it is inside of Cinema 40. Description, a download link for this, but you're going to need Steady Bake. Just shift click everything and go to Plugins, Steady Bake, and hit Record. My bad, right click, group these objects so that you have one object, then go to Steady Bake, Record. And it's going to ask you where you want to put it, so I'm going to make a folder for it in my Fuse Animations. Home, ugly athlete. Make th make sure these three boxes are checked, and do a file series, and click OK, and then just watch it render. All right, now that we have the file series rendered, we'll go into After Effects, 
Alright, so let's start with a new composition. Go up to new composition. We'll go with 1080p. Make sure it's the same frame rate as the animation you downloaded. So if you downloaded 24, make it 24. If you did 30, do 30. If you did 60, do 60. And click OK. I'm sure you know how to apply uh, element 3D to a fucking solid layer. And then we'll go to import 3D sequence. Import the first one and there's your animation. If we uh, run the frame offset, we can see the animation, but we'll start them at zero. So we got our scene, it's not pretty, I'm not going for pretty, I'm going for learning. I usually like to go ahead and just make a group null, go ahead and call it the scene null in case you need to move the scene around at all for any reason. And then we'll go ahead and just add in the light, make sure cast shadows are on, make it a parallel, you can do spot, whatever you want to do for lighting. Go into element 3D, go to the render settings. We might have to animate him independently, so what I'm going to do is go into element 3D and put him into group 2. So just the animation, I'm moving into a new folder. And making it group 2. Now I'm going to go to group 2 in element 3D and go ahead and create another null. And then I'm going to call this one the character null. The reason we might have to animate him independently is to make sure that his feet are touching the ground and when he's rolling he's also not going through the ground. This is a problem with unity because Fuse uses unity to animate and it's also like a problem with all 3d programs I think just shit going through shit let's go ahead and make a new camera go with 35 millimeter Then we're going to go into element 3D and go into the baked animation to slow him down. So he's in group 2. Uh, I've been saying slow down 200%, I meant slow down by 50%, so that, yeah, you get it.
I had to do a little bit of hand animation. That usually doesn't happen with this, but I decided to choose one of the more complex animations, of course. I'm just going to add an ambient light. Fog is a great tool to work with if you have depth in your background, but I haven't really added that. So I'm going to go in and add some more of a detailed background for this animation. Alright, so I've made this sort of weird amoeba-like futuristic background. I'm adding focus. So that's pretty much the tutorial, pretty much from when, when I imported him, you probably knew where to go from there. I'm glad you guys watched it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.